Breaking news. After the controversial WWA Championship match on The Last Hysteria, WWA Director of Operations Hannah has stripped Jake Bravado of the WWA Championship. Tonight, Bravado and Buddy Lee Bodell must face CCW and Lucas Tyler in a tag team match. If Tyler and CCW win, then they will both receive a shot alongside Jake Bravado at the vacant WWA Championship. Plus, the new national champion Josh Onyx must defend the national championship against the number one contender Alexander Knight. The tag team championships are on the line when Super Stunt Squad face the Wet Express. Jordan Whitaker and Tony Evans have been at each other's throats for weeks. We'll take a look at some of the issues between them and then they have a match where the loser must leave the WWA. And in the main event, the dog tags that mean so much to the France brothers have been stolen by Nick Depp. Depp has agreed to put them on the line in a ladder match. This is Hysteria. Championship on the line. Josh Onyx defending against the number one contender, Alexander Knight. Tag Team Championships on the line. Super Stunt Squad versus the Wet Express. Tony Evans versus Jordan Whitaker. Careers on the line. And a ladder match. And first, Lucas Tyler. Lucas Tyler on his way to the ring. Recently returning was screwed out of that ultimate opportunity contract by someone who he thought had his best interests in mind, Buddy Lee Bodell. And since he's come back, Lucas has had Buddy Lee in his sights the entire time. Lucas Tyler has a hell of a tag team partner tonight in CCW who almost had that WWA Championship won back at Halloween Hell before Lucas Tyler interfered and accidentally cost CCW the WWA Championship. I mentioned a ladder match in our main event here tonight. Dakota France and Nick Depp going high above that ring in a ladder match, one-on-one -on -one for those dog tags that mean so much to the brothers France, Christian and Dakota France.
AEW on his way to the ring. And again, this match means so much for both CCW and Lucas Tyler to get a possible WWE Championship opportunity on the next hysteria. But Jake Bravado also, as we mentioned, not the WWE Champion. It was vacated after the controversy on the last hysteria. Or if Lucas Tyler wasn't a founding member, he was very closely there after the WWA was created. These two have been at war with each other. These two have been on the same side, much as they are tonight. We, glad, we are glad you are spending your time with us from home, whether you're watching this as it premieres or on youtube.com slash WWA is now on demand anytime. If you want more content like this, early access to certain videos, three bonus matches, at least three, three bonus matches a month, access to the Waddell Show podcast, and a whole lot more, including a special giveaway we will be announcing here pretty soon. If we haven't announced it already, head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club today. take away from any of Buddy Lee Bodell's accomplishments in life or within the squared circle, but he's not an in-ring competitor. So is this more of a handicap match, or I'm, I'm not sure exactly what to make of it. Oh, Buddy Lee Bodell's actually starting. We have seen Buddy Lee Bodell in the tag team match in the past where he was pinned by uh, Queen Amber, but it looks like he's ready to go. Looks like he might be asking for Lucas Tyler. Well, these two have no love lost between each other. And he's oh. instantly running away. Yeah, and the bell is rang. So your legal men are Jake Bravado and Lucas Tyler. The crowd here chanting chicken. I guess Jake Bravado, Jake Bravado looks kind of annoyed that he got the tag so early. And uh, CCW has been tagged in. I don't know if we've mentioned that before. Oh, big shove from CCW. Up and we are officially underway in this tag team contest, and we are officially underway on WWA Hysteria. Jake Bravado looking to impact that arm. I don't know if this is his game plan or not, but that does. The more he works on that arm, the more likely it is to take out that jackknife powerbomb from CCW's repertoire. Big arm. 
arm wrap. Oh, elbow from CCW, and he's working on that shoulder of Jake Bravado now. He's got him down on the mat. Fujiwara armbar applied by CCW. Is that gonna make Jake Bravado tap out this early into the contest? Oh, got his foot to the rope. Yep. Now you gotta wonder if Jake Bravado even wants to tag in Buddy Lee Bodell or is his lack of ring experience gonna be their downfall? Big chop from CCW. Jake Bravado and Buddy Lee Bodell also have two people on the opposite side of the ring from them right now where no love will be lost because Lucas Tyler was screwed out of that opportunity. One kick out from Jake Bravado. Oh. Oh, CCW's climbing up. The 10 punches connect. Getting the crowd to chant the count along with it. And now another chant, CCW. Folks, also, before we went on the air tonight, new number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships were named. We saw Victor Harlow and Josiah in action, and also a hardcore championship open invite, open challenge from Stonewall to see who answered it, to see how that turned out, and to see these four matches sign up for the Squared Circle Club at patreon.com slash WWA is now. Oh, big clothesline from Lucas Tyler. Bravado came out of the gate looking strong, but yeah. he's just not seeming to get it all together between both Lucas Tyler and CCW. Lucas Tyler going low, trying to isolate Jake Bravado to that corner, too. Lucas Tyler and CCW not known for being a tag team, but both accomplished tag team wrestlers in their own rights. And uh, they know to isolate the ring and cut it off and keep their opponent in their corner so they can stay fresh and keep these tags off. Buddy Lee Bodell's just kind of letting Jake Bravado take the beating. I mean, it's basically two on one. Spine Buster. They might not be known for being a tag team, but they are sure working well as one tonight. Lucas Tyler toying. Center of the ring with that hold. Yeah, and a big elbow to the top of the head from Lucas Tyler as he gets a tag off to CCW. Jake's trying to inch his way over to Buddy Lee, but like you said, I don't know if that's gonna work in their favor at all. Oh, big clothesline to the seated Jake Bravado from the leader of the Daddy World Order. CCW. Oh wait, look at that. Buddy Lee Bodell starts to ease his way in and I think that caused CCW to take his eye off the ball. This could be the opening that Jake Bravado needs as he gets CCW away from being able to tag Lucas Tyler. Big European uppercut. And more strikes raining down from Jake Bravado onto CCW. Back elbows. And a tag is made to Buddy Lee Bodell. Buddy Lee Bodell is the legal man. Look at this. Hey, he's looking a little hyped. I bet he like doesn't really know what to do. A couple, couple swift kicks here. He's stomping him with the one shoe that lights up. I don't know if that, oh. Get a little extra weight in it for the batteries. Yeah. I know he's tagged himself back out. I know my daughter has told me that whenever she wears her light-up shoes, she feels faster. So maybe it's the same kind of psychology 
from Buddy Lee Bodell. Oh, big suplex. One, two, kick out. Hey, Buddy Lee might not have done much, but it gave Jake Bravado just enough of a rest. He's coming back in here with a new fire. We have one more episode of Hysteria that's being recorded in the year 2022. And this has implications on that episode because a WWA champion will be determined somehow on that show. What? Ooh! Uh, was Trying for the Cobra Strike. Oh, it's not, it's not seeming to have any effect on CCW. Hit him, hit him in the throat. Wait, he, he's called for a timeout. There's no timeouts in wrestling. Yeah. Oh, and tag made for Jake Bravado. Okay. I don't think Jake Bravado was ready to get back in the ring so soon, but I don't think Buddy Lee Bodell had a choice. Ooh. Off the ropes. Ooh, and a big boot! Oh, CCW, I think, is realizing he needs to put this this one away. Go. Jake Bravado with more strikes onto CCW as he lifts him up onto the turnbuckle. The Not a good break. Yeah. Straight from the base of that ring up into the top turnbuckle. Jake Bravado's up now. Oh no! Oh boy. Ooh! Ooh. Superplex not working. CCW Whoa. cuts him off and Jake Bravado crashes hard to the mat. Look at this! Oh, it's going up top. Drop! And CCW's calling for that jackknife power bomb. Oh! He's up. Oh, oh wait, Jake oh, wow. is able to slide out of it. And oh. a big spot buster of his own. One, two. Ooh, the world-class kicker of ass kicks out. That was awful close. Very close. Our referees have eagle eyes, so I trust them more than I trust me, but man, that was close. Oh, oh wait! Wow! Jake Bravado knocking Lucas Tyler off the apron, preventing that tag between CCW and Lucas Tyler. No! Wow. I believe Jake Bravado was going for the essence of excellence. Kind of looked like CCW got a headbutt in. Yeah. Oh, he tried it again. CCW able to fight out of it. He's got Jake Bravado scouted. Off the ropes. No. Big clothesline of his own from Jake Bravado. A little bit of showboating there. I don't know that. This late into a match, that's the time you want to strike a pose. Yeah, I agree. Oh, no. Not happening again. CCW able to get out there. with Lucas Tyler. Lucas Tyler is in with a high kick. And that's got to feel so sweet Ooh. for Lucas Tyler. Buddy Lee tempted to get in, but Lucas saying, no, no, no. Yeah, Lucas wants Buddy Lee Bodell in there after the betrayal, big wheel kick. And Jake Bravado, excuse me, Lucas Tyler almost daring Jake Bravado to tag out to Buddy Lee Bodell. Distraction technique employed by Buddy Lee Bodell, and now Jake Bravado has an upper hand on Lucas. Oh, sunset flip, no! Lucas Tyler gets out of the way. Drop kick. Got tangled up in the ropes. What's Lucas Tyler thinking? Off the ropes. Oh, and he oh. slides right through, racking that neck region against that middle rope. Those ropes are unforgiving, folks. He just caught his foot mid-kick. He 
He did, and now Jake Bravado's dragging through. Big DDT on the Lucas Tyler. One, two, Whoa. no! CCW is able to break it up in a last ditch effort. Launched himself from that corner. CCW's taking a lot of punishment in this match, too. You can tell it took him all that he had to get in there and break up that pinfall. Jake Bravado with a low kick. Jawbreaker, low kick. Lucas Tyler off the ropes now, big curb stop. Wait a sec, is Lucas Tyler calling for a second one? No, an wow. X kick this time. Tagging into CCW. This could be it. CCW and Lucas Tyler both could be getting a WWA Championship shot. There's that power bomb. One, two, three. Buddy Lee Bodell is a coward. Buddy Lee Bodell pretty much let Jake Bravado lose that match by himself. And you can tell Lucas Tyler is very much happy with exacting this revenge. And we have a triple threat. WWE Championship match on the next episode of Hysteria. The action does not stop there. Jake Romano obviously very frustrated with Buddy Lee Bodell. But coming up next, the National Championship is on the line. Josh Onyx defends against the number one contender, Alexander Knight, and in our main event tonight, it is a ladder match, Nick Depp versus Dakota France. All this and more, this is Hysteria. Special thanks to our official members of the Squared Circle Club. If you would like to join the club and get your name shown here, as well as several other benefits, head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to sign up. Watching WWA Hysteria. Hey WWA fans, Drake Jackson here with an exciting opportunity with the WWA Squared Circle Club. We're having our biggest contest ever. If you sign up at patreon.com slash WWA is now through the month of January, then at the end of January, we will be doing a drawing for every person included in the Patreon to win a free ticket to every WWA show for a full year. That means if you've already signed up for Patreon, great job, you're already entered. If you want to be entered in this contest, head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club today and check out all of the bonus content. This is the Hysteria Update. Earlier tonight, the Witness Perfection program picked up the win in a triple threat tag team contest. This means that they will receive a tag team championship shot on the next episode of Hysteria. If you want to see this match as well as the other matches from earlier tonight, head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club and get access to all of the WWA bonus content. As mentioned earlier tonight, the WWA Championship has been vacated due to all the controversy surrounding it recently. As a result of the match that happened before the break, the main event for the next episode of Hysteria is official. 
Lucas Tyler, Jake Bravado, and CCW will do battle in a triple threat match to determine the new WWE Champion. Stonewall has been a fighting champion since winning the Hardcore Championship. In Livermore, he defended the title successfully against Zack Weber of the Wet Express. Earlier tonight in a Patreon exclusive match, Stonewall defeated Bo Sawyer in an open challenge match. In Livermore, Alexander Knight won a fatal four-way contest to become the national championship number one contender. Let's head back to the ring now to check out this national championship match. We're back on WWA Hysteria. Alexander Knight making his way to the ring. He is the number one contender for the WWA National Championship. Of course, the National Championship held by Josh Onyx after winning it on the last episode of Hysteria from Jones. Very heartwarming moment. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. In the archives, Halloween Hill. 2022, right here. Alexander Knight. Like, okay, well, Alexander Knight is asking that he be introduced as the best. But tonight, he gets a shot at that national championship and at Josh Onyx. And if you remember, longtime hysteria viewers will know Josh Onyx has kind of been tripped tonight for Alexander Knight. Leading up to this match, he ended Alexander Knight's winning streak in 2022, won $10,000 off him. And his opponent, he is the current reigning and defending national champion, the Game Changer, Josh Onyx. The Game Changer coming off what a lot of people would say is the biggest win of his career, myself included, winning that WWE National Championship and ending the reign of Jones. Of course, we saw Jones in action earlier tonight. If you want to see his match from tonight, head on over to patreon.com slash WWE is now to join the Squared Circle Club. Josh Onyx getting encouragement from the fans. And Alexander Knight ducking out as Josh Onyx makes his entrance for this national championship match here at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Evansville, Indiana. Alexander Knight was kind of messing with the timekeepers over there. Huh. Well, I don't know what he could possibly be doing under there, but if there's any sort of advantage that Alexander Knight could gain, he'll take it. Josh Onyx has been a fighting champion at WWA shows since winning the WWA National Championship. It's been really heartwarming and exciting to see, but tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with Alexander Knight, who will do anything to get that WWA National Championship. The crowd here chanting Onyx. Josh Onyx loves these fans. These fans love him. And he's willing to fight for them tonight in this national championship contest. The bell is rung in this national championship contest is underway. Instantly dipping out. Yeah, I guess checking out the belt, making sure it's okay. Yeah, he gave it a kiss. And uh, he's, he's ready to go. Alexander Knight probably picturing himself as the national champion, but longtime Hysteria viewers will remember that he doesn't really have to uh, picture himself as the national champion because Alexander Knight has been national champion multiple times. I'm sure he'd want nothing more than to get it back here tonight. Headlock applied, but Josh Onyx sending him off the ropes and following him in. 
little bit of discombobulation there for Alexander Knight as Josh Onyx takes him down. Alexander Knight's on the outside of the ring trying to, you know, gather himself. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's probably a smart move on Knight's part. He looks a little shook. It's hard not to be when you're facing the game changer, Josh Onyx, and Josh Onyx is ready to go in this one-on-one -on -one contest, locking up once again. Josh Onyx sending Alexander Knight off the ropes. No, turn around. Oh, and another shoulder block. Alexander Knight cannot stay on his feet in this contest so far. If I'm Josh Onyx, I do not want to get ahead of myself like that because Alexander Knight can't be one of the most deadly wrestlers. Wow. Wow. What strength from Josh Onyx. Just able to shove out. Oh! Hanging on to the hair. Yeah. Underhanded tactic from Alexander Knight, the Cavalier Profiteer. And he's able to regain that headlock on Josh Onyx because of that advantage he took pulling on the hair of Josh Onyx. And you can see there Josh Onyx went to push Alexander Knight off the ropes to get off that headlock. And Alexander Knight, ever the veteran, dropping to that left knee and just compressing Josh Onyx more to the mat, not letting him gain any momentum. Ooh. Finally able to break free out of that. Oh, shoulder block. That looked almost effortless after having the air squeezed out of him for so long. Josh Onyx in the corner now. Ooh, big splash in the corner. On to Alexander Knight. Alexander Knight turning around that Irish whip. Josh Onyx going up, able to go up and over, following him in. Leg chop, no! Oh, wow! Wow! wow. One, two. Josh Onyx had the rope that whole time, but Alexander Knight using his body to cut off the referee's vision. What a counter to that chop block. Off the ropes. Ooh! Ooh. Massive tackle from Josh Onyx. Yeah, Alexander Knight once again rolling to the outside, trying to regain his composure, but he does not want to get counted out here because then he wouldn't be able to get the WWA National Championship that is on the line. Oh! Alexander Knight using the ring as a weapon and uh, working on that arm of Josh Onyx. You gotta think he's trying to take that spin out power bomb out of Josh Onyx's repertoire. Referee's up to a four count. Alexander Knight lets go to avoid a disqualification, and he pulls the elbow pad of Josh Onyx down, exposing that flesh and bone. Going right back to twisting on that arm. Wow. Oh! Dropping him shoulder first onto the mat. Josh Onyx just getting decimated here. Alexander Knight with almost surgical precision as he works on that, that, that shoulder right on that joint of Josh Onyx. Once again, that would take that spin-out powerbomb out. Oh, and now he's using the hair. Alexander Knight's using the hair. The referee's warning him to get off. Oh, wow. big stomp. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do that powerbomb with just one arm. Ooh, right back onto that same shoulder, that same arm. He's tearing apart Josh Onyx here. It's going to take every strength move out of Josh Onyx's arsenal, which is pretty much his whole game. He's not a very aerial man, although we've seen him take to the skies for that neck breaker before. Look at this, hammerlock applied straight oh. into the pole. Yeah, the post right in front of us coming into play here. Oh, wait a sec, Alexander Knight. Oh! oh. Throwing that arm into the post again. That could separate the shoulder right out of place. My shoulder is tingling just watching this. We've got a front row seat. 
Alexander Knight taking the time to float. Ever the uh, the showman. And Onyx has not stopped grasping that shoulder since Knight left the ring. Yeah, the, the pain is very apparent for Josh Onyx. Once again, wrapping that arm up goes Alexander Knight. Oh, driving that shoulder into the canvas and just jamming up that that shoulder joint. It could be dislocated at this point. Oh, and Alexander Knight now using the ropes for leverage and standing on that that forearm, just really torquing the uh, shoulder joint of Josh Onyx. Alexander Knight with very, very precise movements in there. Onyx desperately hit with those forearms from his other arm. Oh! That's all it took, Alexander Knight. Oh, one, two! No, I thought we could have had a new national champion off of that kick. He kicked out with that hurt shoulder. That's gonna do even more damage to it. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Alexander Knight, Josh Onyx is trying to escape this pain and Alexander Knight just keeps repositioning Josh Onyx to absorb more pain. Ooh. Alexander Knight now going to the outside, going up top, something we don't often see from the self-proclaimed best wrestler in the world. Oh, oh, wow. Onyx climbing up. Yeah, I don't like this. Both men on that middle rope. Josh Onyx is calling for something. What is happening here? Down, Josh Onyx with a huge suplex off the top. One, two, no. Barely even got past one. You gotta think that was an easier kick out from Alexander Knight onto Josh Onyx because of how much damage he's done to that shoulder. And flying off the top rope like that certainly didn't Wait a do second. that shoulder any favors. There it is, spin up powerbomb, no. We thought Josh Onyx may have turned it around. Whoa! Oh, wow! Chucky flip! Is that going to be the opening Onyx needs? No! Wait, what's he? Oh! Right into that turnbuckle. Yeah, what a counter from Alexander Knight. And now he's dragging Josh Onyx to the middle of the ring, giving him some more room. Big slam. One, two, three, no. We almost had a new WWA National Champion off of that move. Folks, he's seen all night the ladders lining the entryway. We still have a huge ladder match made event coming up. Uh oh. Uh-oh, roll through, no. Once again, these two just fighting out of each other. What's Onyx thinking here? I don't know, he's got those legs. Oh wait, Alexander Knight almost had it turned around, but then the, uh, the momentum still from Josh Onyx, you saw that hesitation there. Alexander Knight thought he could counter it, but Josh Onyx still forced him through that middle rope by torquing those calves. Ooh, big elbow strike from Alexander Knight onto Josh Onyx, who's gaining a head of steam. Off the ropes. Oh, big 
knee. And, and out back goes, out. Yep, out goes Alexander Knight. Oh! You know, I was just talking earlier about how Josh Onyx doesn't take to the skies often, but then he goes and proves me wrong. It just shows what he's willing to do to hang on to this championship. Josh Onyx rolls Alexander Knight in. One, two, kick out from Alexander Knight. Barely able to kick out there though. Josh Onyx just gained this WWA champion, this national championship, excuse me, last month. There's Josh no way he's climbing back up to the top row. Wow. Yeah, Alexander oh, Knight able to stop him from whatever he was planning. Fireman's carry. Sit wow. out. Cyclone. One, two, three. No. This match has nearly ended four or five times now, and I thought it was over every time. Neither of these men want to give an inch for that champion. And I couldn't quite tell, but it looked like the way that Knight was pinning Onyx down, it looked like he might have been putting more pressure on that hurt shoulder. Oh, that could be true. Good catch there, because it does take a lot to kick out from pinfall. It's got to take even more whenever your shoulder is this damaged. Samoa wow. drop. One, two, three. Wow, wow, that was close. Are you kidding me? These two are tearing each other apart for the WWA National Championship. Oh, wait a sec. I don't know if our viewers can see at home. Alexander Knight has just pulled a chain out. He's got his trusty steel chain with him. Oh, come on, this is a championship match. Are you kidding me? Look out! Oh, both men sent outside. What momentum from Josh Onyx. But Alexander Knight has held on to that chain. Oh. oh! The referee did not see it, Josh Onyx. Josh Onyx is holding on to that apron for dear life. No, the chain doesn't work. Oh, oh my goodness! Onto the wood floor! Both men are down! The referee's counting! Josh Onyx is disoriented from that chain shot! That's a 10 count! Uh, Does that mean the title stays with Onyx? The referee is checking in with our ring announcer. We will get an official announcement. It is a double I count out. Wow. wow. You know, usually when something ends like that, the double count out or something, you can't take anything away from either man. But Alexander and I resorted to using a chain, and it was Josh Onyx's. Uh, Tonight, Josh Onyx still hasn't been pinned or made to submit here in the WWE, and he walks away with the national championship after this double countout. I guess that's the closest anyone has came to beating Josh Onyx one on one. So you got to think Alexander Knight will still be gunning for Josh Onyx and that WWE National Championship. Both men are down. We're going to need to get some help out here. Oh, Josh Onyx struggling back to his feet with that shoulder. That shoulder injury, what heart from the game changer. He took a chain to the face. He took a beating from that shoulder, and he was still able to use the apron to stabilize himself and hit that spin-out powerbomb on Alexander Knight. I don't think Knight has moved since. No. I mean, it's a powerful move, and he took it straight to the floor. Well, later on tonight, we'll fill you in on how we got here. 
but it's career for career. Tony Evans and Jordan Whitaker will be facing off one-on-one -on -one later tonight. The loser will no longer be with the WWE. This is hysteria. Did you know that you miss over half the WWA's exciting action by just watching online? Check out the World Wrestling Alliance when they come near you. Event info and ticket prices can be found on Facebook.com slash WWA is now. WWA fans, we just want to remind you where you can find the WWA and keep up with it on social media. You can check us out on Facebook.com slash WWA is now. Instagram and Twitter at WWA is now. TikTok at WWA is now one. And if you want exclusive matches, discussions, bonus content, the Waddell Show podcast, head on over to Patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club today. The World Wrestling Alliance would like to send their best wishes to Alex Beretta, who was involved in a serious accident in between shows. As a result, he will be off of WWA shows as he recovers, but rest assured that he is doing well. Good dude. 
And that's what they have brought to the tag belts as well. Yeah, for sure. They seem to be restoring any honor that the Golden Gods got rid of throughout their reign. Heroes to many in the World Wrestling Alliance. I don't know what's happening at ringside, but I wish it would stop. What Express coming in very confident. Yeah, this is a huge match for the Wet Express. They were involved in tag team turmoil as well. Wait a second. You know, I think it's funny that you call my manager Toa because, in all honesty, the only two dogs I see are you two female dogs. Yeah, you know, bitches. <laughs> That's pretty good. Fighting words from the Super Stunt Squad onto the Wet Express. Woo! Star Kid in there getting the crowd behind them. Both of these men have been training. They've been in. They're getting into phenomenal shape under the tutelage of their sensei, Mad Mex. They've picked up so much knowledge. Mad Mex is a veteran in this business, a veteran in the WWE. He's done it all. Tag Team Championships on the line. Alex Strausser checking in to make sure both teams are ready. And there we go. Wrong. Yeah. Justin O'Ryan in the black tights, starting for the Wet Express against Starkid. Oh, and a big hip toss. The Wet Express are uh, incensed, and Starkid's just adding to it. Splash. Oh, Stuntman Mikey just yelled, I can do that better. This is not going to turn out well for Justin O'Ryan. Oh! Justin O'Ryan's trying to collect himself, and Stuntman Mikey tags back out to start him. Oh, wow. Oh, big strikes from Star Kid using his partner as a bench. Yeah, headlock from Star Kid onto Justin O'Ryan. Tag made. Super Stunt Squad doing frequent tags, trying to stay fresh. No oh, way. my. <laughs> well, a headbutt of a different variety. Oh! Zach Weber ran right oh, into no. it. Things are not turning out well for the Wet Express. The Wet Express are going to have to collect themselves if they want any chance at the WWA Tag Team titles here tonight. What Express seem to be uh, spraying themselves with whatever's in that bottle. I, I hope it's just water. Um, they, they seem to be thinking it's, it's going to get them back in the match. All right. Might be Michael Jordan's secret stuff for all we know. No, oh. no. Maybe it worked. Yeah, it looked like uh, Justin O'Ryan cutting off Star Kid from attempting anything else in that ring using Zach Weber as a distraction. Off the ropes, Justin O'Ryan. Big clothesline onto Star Kid. One, no. 
Starkin with all his power and will and might. Oh, what a low kick from Justin O'Ryan. Oh, big DDT. One, two, oh. Start getting able to pull himself into the corner, but I don't know that that's where he wants to be. Yeah, he pulled himself into the wrong corner. If so, he's so disoriented from those strikes from Justin O'Ryan and Zach Weber lays the boots to him now. Ooh, what's Zach Weber doing? Zach Weber recently challenged Stonewall for the Hardcore Championship in Livermore, came up on the losing end of that, hoping to not lose another title opportunity here tonight. Butterfly suplex, and Zach Weber keeps a grip. Duplex. What's looking he got for a third? Yeah, what's he got in mind? Tag made to Justin O'Ryan, the man who was born to be a star. Ooh! Oh! One, two, nasty double team maneuver from the Wet Express. Really impacting that rib cage and midsection of Star Kid. I did reach out to Colonel Harper here recently to apologize as we did see the true identity of Starkid when they won the tag team titles. Oh, wait, whoa! What? Big knee misses, Starkid nearly had it. Starkid's into the outside. Oh, but a forearm to Justin O'Ryan. Ooh. Wow, Starkid's getting back into this. Oh! oh! One, two, kick out. I don't want to say you spoke too soon, but I would have agreed with you. But Zach Weber able to pull out that nasty counter to start kid getting back in the ring. Zach Weber trying to bring Star Kid to his feet. And now they are Involved in a duel of sorts, a couple strikes oh. and a knee strike. Wow! Oh. Both men are down, but look at the positioning. Zach Weber is closer to Stuntman Mikey. Star Kid is closer to Justin Ryan. This is not where they want to be. They're both having to crawl away from each other, almost over each other, to get a tag off if they want to go to a fresh man. And Zach Weber with a tag. Star Kid with a tag. In comes Stuntman Mikey and Justin O'Ryan. Wow. And it didn't work for Justin O'Ryan. Whatever didn't he was even trying to move. do. No. He's going to the well too many times. Stuntman Mikey is immovable. And he's strong. And he's silly. Right the pony. Humiliation from Stuntman Mikey. Stuntman Mikey known to get in your head. Oh, and administer physical and emotional punishment. He's in there to have fun and he's in there to keep the WWE Tag Team Championships. Look at this, Justin O'Ryan back to his feet. Got that thumb up. Yeah, we thought he was going to go for a splash, but ah! no! There it is. Oh! Oh! He just caused Weber to DDT his own partner. Yeah, wrecked them both. And Stuntman Mikey is looking for Justin O'Ryan to stand up. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, the referee distracted, but Zach Weber slid that wet floor sign into Justin O'Ryan. He's got stuntman Mikey by the leg. What's going on here? Well, hold on, wait, wait a, a minute. Sec. Is that Michael Caden? Michael Caden just ran in. Making sure everything stays nice and fair, yeah, I guess. He's like keeping some honor to this match. Whoa! Starkid takes out Zach Weber on the outside. 
Stuntman Mikey with the big belly to belly suplex. Going for the pin. One, two, three. The winner of the match is still WWE Tag Team Champion, the Super Stunt Squad. Well, Michael Caden, who has been having the worst luck lately, trying to help out the Tag Team Champions here and succeeded in thwarting the Wet Express's plan. Good on him for it, too. And the Super Stunt Squad are still your WWE Tag Team Champions. Starkid and Stuntman Mikey celebrating in the ring. A little bit of an argument happening between the Wet Express on the outside, but they're helping each other back to the backstage area. Well, we shift gears now because coming up next, both men's careers are on the line. Tony Evans and Jordan Whitaker facing off one-on-one. -on -one. At a recent show, Tony Evans called out Jordan Whitaker after that brutal last man standing match on the last hysteria. One in the old Jordan Whitaker back. But Jordan Whitaker, who was quote unquote injured, beat Tony Evans with that crutch. Tony Evans. Also getting a little bit of payback in Owensboro. And this has become so heated that neither of them want to be in the company at the same time anymore. Tony Evans versus Jordan Whitaker right now in a career versus career match. much braver than I am because he just walked past me and I got goosebumps like there's no way that I want to be taunting Jordan Whitaker in the state that he's in right now this could be the last time these fans see Jordan Whitaker in a WWE ring did leave the WWE and on his way out Tony and Evans made it his career mission career match. the loser of this match must leave the WWE 
Tony Evans made it his mission on Jordan Whitaker's way out of the company to absolutely destroy Jordan Whitaker. And once Jordan Whitaker left, Tony Evans started adapting the spear in his matches to almost taunt Jordan Whitaker while Jordan Whitaker was away. But as soon as Jordan Whitaker decided it was time to come back, his first target was Tony Evans and the WWE Championship. These two are no strangers to one another. Fans very clearly not on the side of Jordan Whitaker. Yeah, they want Tony Evans to stick around, which is a weird change from the past when we've seen these two face off. Jordan Whitaker has always been a fan favorite, but once he attacked Ray Waddell and just came, started becoming insufferable, doing things like that, slapping Tony Evans in the face, the fans really turned on him, or he, more fittingly, he turned on the fans. Meanwhile, Tony Evans has been a lot more about honor lately. He's one of the best wrestlers to ever set foot in the World Wrestling Alliance, and he, he knows it, but he also knows he wouldn't be where he is today without the WWE. Jordan Whitaker not wanting to let go of that headlock by the count of five. Tony Evans shoots him off. No, he right takes back him to down. His feet. This is personal. Both men have been attacking each other in the weeks leading up to this. No, arm drag from Tony Evans. Arm drag from Jordan Whitaker. What? Who? Who's your pick to win this one? Because I'm gonna go ahead and give you my opinion. I can't call it. Tony Evans, very much determined in this department, but Jordan Whitaker has that hatred going on right now. I really don't want to see either of them leave, but I guess if I had to pick one, I want Jordan Whitaker to leave after how he's been this last year. Elliptical, no! Jordan Whitaker bailing to the outside for safety. Not trying to avoid your question, just there's so much going on in the ring. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to see either men's career end, but your point does still stand. The, since Jordan Whitaker came back and attacked Ray Waddell, the things that we have seen him do, I don't know that I want to continue seeing those things happen. Yeah, true, good, good point, good point. But Jordan Whitaker been with the WWA since the doors opened. He's had a very storied career in the World Wrestling Alliance. Tony Evans also has won nearly every championship that you won. I believe out of any championship that has ever been active within the World Wrestling Alliance, Tony Evans is only missing a WWA Tag Team Championship. You gotta think he'd wanna stick around if nothing else to do that. I mean, he's a former national champion, he's a former WWA champion, former hardcore champion, former Kentucky Classic champion. He's done it all here, but so is Jordan Whitaker. Jordan Whitaker's taking his time. No, big drop kick wow. from Tony Evans. He's trying to get this thing going. Look at what? this. Looking to fly. Oh! Wow! Huge dive from Tony Evans onto Jordan Whitaker. Putting it all on the line. My goodness. And when the stakes are this high, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Tony Evans takes it to the sky. I believe that tweak Jordan Whitaker's leg. You can see that leg brace. That's been a point of contention since he injured it in that Ultimate X match and came back earlier this year. Oh, back elbow. Back elbow again from Tony Evans. The wow. Di the difficult thing about Jordan Whitaker is he has, how do you say, played possum with that leg so much this year. You don't know if he's really hurt on that leg or not. He could be reeling Tony in. It's that was hard to part trust of him. how all of this started. Yeah, for sure. It's it, it's hard to trust him. And that used to not be the case. Oh, and I hate that it's that way now. 
Tony Evans laying some stomps in the corner. One of these men is wrestling their last match in the World Wrestling Alliance. That's such a heavy thing to think about. It's chilling. No, oh, wait a sec. Roll up. One. Was Jordan Whitaker playing possum again? No, he goes right back to that leg. Oh, wow. big clothesline from Tony Evans. One, two. Kick out from Jordan Whitaker. Jordan's still holding on to that leg. Oh, and he gets the eyes and face area of Tony Evans. We've been burned before, but I almost want to say that I might believe it this time. Oh, he hot shot at Tony Evans across that top rope, but yeah, like you said, he was not able to keep himself up on his feet. No, Jordan Whitaker went to the ground to land on his feet and just slid down and collapsed. Not good for Jordan Whitaker. Oh, wait a sec. I thought Jordan Whitaker was going for a pin, but he's choking out Tony Evans. You saw those feet kicking. Jordan Whitaker is massaging that leg to try to get some sort of feeling back into it, maybe, or maybe he's feeling it too much. I think you're right. I think I believe him. Oh, big elbow from Jordan Whitaker. Both men giving their bodies to this business, but also to this match. Big clothesline, no, out of the way. Tony Evans now, big drop kick into the corner. Stomps from superior Tony Evans. Laying him out to Jordan Whitaker. Oh, wow. Jordan Whitaker using that momentum. Tony Evans to pull him face first into that middle turnbuckle. Big forearms from Jordan Whitaker onto Tony Evans. No! Tony Evans able to get out of there and with a strike of his own. No! Once again, Tony Evans meeting Jordan Whitaker. Back elbow, though, from Jordan Whitaker takes down Tony Evans. But once again, he was not able to stay on his feet. Yeah, it's getting hard to watch. One. Kick out from Tony Evans at one. I can't believe this. This is insane. Both men are just going through so much to try to end the other man's career. Jordan Whitaker now putting Tony Evans in the corner, trying to choke him out, getting away by the count of five, but a back elbow from Tony Evans as Tony Evans goes to that corner. Big boot onto Jordan Whitaker. Jordan Whitaker nearly collapsing. Look at this. No! The splash misses on Tony Evans. Oh, wait, he's going to roll Tony Evans up. One, two. He's got the tights. Oh. No, Tony Evans able to kick out. That was super close. We nearly saw Tony Evans' WWA career end in that one fell swoop. And Tony Evans now taking this moment to talk some trash to Jordan Whitaker, and now he's lining up for the spear. Oh! Whoa. Using his own move against him. One, two, three. Wow! Woo! I thought that was it for Jordan Whitaker in the World Wrestling Alliance. How heavy would that have weighed on Jordan being taken out by his own move? No joke, and now Tony Evans going for the elliptical. No, Jordan Whitaker fights out. Snapmare reversal. Jordan Whitaker's up. Spear! Wow. Spear! One, two, three! Wow!
did we really just see that? No wonder at this match, Jordan Whitaker. Jordan Whitaker has won, and Tony Evans is no longer with the World Wrestling Alliance. I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. I don't have words. Tony Evans is gone. Tony Evans is no longer a member of the World Wrestling Alliance. And Jordan Whitaker is staying here. He still hasn't been able to get himself back up, though. Yeah, that leg, if he's playing possum, then he's been playing possum for a long time. Oh, he doesn't have to keep up the charade right now. Yeah, he's hurt. Using help. He's hurt. Well, coming up next, it's the main event. Oh, hang on a second. Tony Evans is in the ring. Tony Evans, I think, has just realized that he is no longer with the World Wrestling Alliance. His WWA career is over. Crowd showing their love. We gotta give we gotta give a round of applause over here too. I mean, Tony Evans, what a wrestler. Hoping he lands on his feet elsewhere. But he knew what he put on the line going into this. And sadly, it's come back to bite him. Folks, up next, ladder match. The dog tags are on the line. Nick Depp versus Dakota France. It's our main event. It's the Daria. Be sure to head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club. For just $9.99 a month, you get access to a crazy amount of content. Unedited, never before seen footage of WWA matches. Access to the Waddell Show podcast. Early admission to select WWA shows and private meet and greets. Future giveaways. Your name displayed in episodes of WWA Hysteria. Admission to a private Squared Circle Club Facebook group that includes never-before-seen photos, Q&A sessions with WWA talent, discussions, and more. Just head on over to patreon.com slash WWA is now to join the Squared Circle Club today. WWA Hysteria for our main event. Introducing first, the Platinum Standard, Nick Depp. Nick Depp on his way to the ring. We've seen Nick Depp target Dakota France ever since Dakota France eliminated Nick Depp in Kentucky's Biggest Battle Royal, costing Nick Depp the WWA Championship. Nick Depp blames Dakota France and took it out on a show that Dakota France wasn't even at. On Dakota France's brother, Christian France, who's a well-known staff worker here at WWA events, just took it out on him, locked him in a figure four leg lock. And Nick Depp has been insane ever since. Matter of fact, on the last episode of Hysteria, we saw Nick Depp, oh, Nick Depp's right in front of us. We saw Nick Depp lock Dakota France in the figure four until Dakota France tapped out after hitting, or he didn't tap out, he, he passed out. out. Yeah, you're right. He passed out due to the pain. He did not tap out. And then Dakota France took the dog tags off of Christian France, which we know is a symbol of the love between those two brothers, Dakota and Christian, and Nick Depp is desecrating it. He's been desecrating those dog tags at WWA events. And now, he said if Dakota France wants those dog tags back, he's gonna have to fight them for him. He's gonna have to climb the ladder and get those dog tags. 
The dog tags are hanging high, high above the ring tonight. And his opponent for the match for the ladder match, Dakota Friend! Hey! And there's Christian out with his brother. Christian France coming out with Dakota France. Those dog tags are a symbol between these two. As Dakota gave Christian those dog tags back before that submission match on the last episode of Hysteria. And I talked about how high these dog tags are hanging. I'm just now noticing just how high and perilous it, they're it, hanging. It's high. Well, because it's not like, I mean, ladder matches for championship belts are already crazy. But the belt has a little bit of length to it to where you maybe don't have to climb just as high. You really have to be up there, but these dog tags are up there tonight. They have no shortage of ladders to be able to reach it, though. Yeah, we're filled with ladders here in the Evansville Coliseum tonight. I think Dakota is talking to Christian on the outside and he's sending Christian France to the back. That's probably a smart move. That seems like a smart move. Nick Depp has been targeting Christian France through this whole time. Of course, that Kentucky's Biggest Battle Royal won by CCW, who had the WWA Championship, but then immediately lost it to Jake Bravado when he cashed in. It's now vacated, and we learned earlier tonight that there will be a triple threat for the WWA Championship between CCW, Lucas Tyler, and Jake Bravado on the next hysteria. But if you want to see Kentucky's Biggest Battle Royal, it's in full on patreon.com slash WWA is now as a member of the Squared Circle Club. First person to find the ladder between the dog tags will be the winner of this match. We thank you for hanging with us today, tonight, whenever you're watching this. But it's about to get brutal. There's no championship on the line in this ladder match, which is very rare. You rarely see that in history, but what's up there means so much to both of these competitors. Things have gotten heated. You can tell between these two, they are ready to go. Crowd's chanting, we want ladders. Bell hasn't even rang yet. And the bell is rang, speaking of. <laughs> Collar and elbow tie up, go into a headlock, but the submission's not gonna get you the victory here. I think Dakota France is just trying to drain the life out of Nick Depp so he can incapacitate him long enough to go up and get those dog tags. Off the ropes, off the ropes again, avoiding each other, and Nick Depp goes to the outside. Dakota's right behind him. Oh, super kick to the leg. Looks like Dakota's going for the first ladder. Yeah, I guess. He's ready to get this thing over with, you know? He wants those dog tags back. This isn't a game to him. Uh-oh, look out. Nick Depp has the ladder. He has the other end of the ladder. Dakota France has an end. Oh! oh! Strip it into the post. Whoa! Oh! Nick Depp narrowly escaping that, and now Dakota France sent into the post by the Platinum Standard. Off the ropes goes Nick Depp. No, the oh! ladder thrown at Nick Depp as he attempted a dive right into his face. And Nick Depp's disoriented. You can see him, he's shaking his head. He's trying to collect himself. Dakota France is ready to go up and get those dog tags. Oh, low blow from Dakota France. It's all legal here tonight, folks. Oh, working on that back of the self-proclaimed platinum standard, trying to keep him from being able to climb that ladder. 
Ladders in the center of the ring. These ladder matches are crazy because so often, as I assume will happen here tonight, the ladder becomes a weapon. It's not just a tool to go up and get whatever's hanging above the ring. What is Dakota thinking here? Very innovative wrestler Dakota France is. Oh! Wow. That was not good for the Platinum Standard. High risk from Dakota France as well. But that just shows you how much this match means to both of these men. Look at this. <laughs> the ladder goes low and a super kick taking Nick Depp out. I don't know if Nick's gonna be able to walk after that. Yeah, that's, that is, that's awful. I'm, I'm wincing at my ringside seat here right now, actually. Uh-oh, Dakota France scooping Nick Depp up. Nick Depp fighting out of it, goes low. And an eye rake putting him in the advantage. And now a scoop slam of his own, and Dakota France is in pain. That back went directly across those metal rungs. Calling for the strap. Nick Depp climbing his way up. To the chagrin of these fans. Oh! No! Dakota moved out of the way. Yeah, Nick Depp crashes and burns on that ladder. Wow. Nick Depp is over here coughing up a lung because of how much damage was just given to him by that ladder splash and Dakota France moving out of the way. What's Dakota got in mind here? Oh! A little bit of family planning from Dakota France. And Dakota's not done. Oh, no way. This can't be what he's got in mind. The Dakota 500 has a green flag. Oh my God! Yikes! Did you see how the ladder popped up on that drop kick? Nick looks like he's gonna puke. I, I don't. I. Yeah, I don't blame him. Good lord. Dakota France now getting. He's oh, Dakota. pulled out an even bigger ladder. That ladder is huge. I don't know where that, I mean, it obviously came from under the ring, but I don't know what it's used for outside of this, but it's something high up. That is, I think that's the tallest ladder we have in this building. Good Lord. Well, Dakota France is gonna try to end this. He's officially the first person to try to climb and get those dog tags. He's making his way up. Of course, the ring is really shaky. Oh! Nick Depp now. Oh! Nick Depp knocking Dakota France onto the top rope, and now Nick Depp has an opening. Oh, kick to the ribs. You can see Nick Depp holding himself. Oh! After that big drop kick to the ladder, and now what is Nick Depp doing? Uh oh. He's tying to Oh, this leg into that ladder. Oh, still working on that leg. That's going to make it hard for Dakota France not only to throw a super kick, but to climb the ladder, much as Nick Depp's doing right now. Dakota's grabbing that smaller ladder himself now. Oh, the ladder gets thrown, and Nick Whoa. Depp's in into the top rope. Turnabout's fair play. I watched Nick Depp win a ladder match in this very building earlier this year. But Dakota France is no stranger to ladder matches as well. I've seen him win the ultimate opportunity contract ladder match before. Oh. Nick back to his feet. Uh-oh. What is this? Torture rack almost. Oh! He runs Dakota France head first into that ladder. 
and just drops him down. Nick Getz going to the outside. Is he looking for another ladder? There's already two in there. And one I feel like is more than adequate to get you up there to those dog tags. Yeah, yeah, no, I've never. Oh! Dakota France and Nick Depp fighting up the entryway as they continue to brawl over those ladders. Uh-oh, Irish Whoa. Whip sending Nick Depp into all the ladders at the top of the entryway near the stage. Now folks, our vantage point of commentary isn't as good whenever they're this far away, but we're bringing the action to you at home as they continue to fight back toward us, really. Oh, all of the ladders come into play, and Nick Depp's grabbing one of those. I don't like this. Oh, Nick Depp goes low with the ladder again. Just walking right past Dakota. Axe handle from Nick Depp. And he disposes of Dakota France. And uh, what's Nick Depp got in mind here? He's brought in another ladder, and Dakota France so brought Dakota. in Dakota. Yeah, he's brought in a fourth ladder. Come on. This is crazy. Nick Depp just keeps throwing strikes down on Dakota France, the ace of the WWA. Figure four, almost oh. applied. But Dakota France sends Nick Depp reversing the figure four face first into that ladder. We appreciate you being here with us tonight on youtube.com slash WWA is now and hopefully we don't get a content warning for the violence that is happening right now. Uh oh, what's Nick Depp doing? Oh, oh right, right across, across the, the back. Good Lord. No, oh, more strikes administered from Nick Depp. Nick Depp has had a hell of a year winning the WWA Championship and really not even getting pinned or made to submit or anything when he lost the WWA Championship. It's probably one of the things he's most mad at Dakota France about. In Nick Depp's mind, he's still the champion. He just got tossed, you know, over the top rope. He wasn't like beaten in a one-on-one -on -one singles contest, but here in the WWE, anything can happen. What does Nick Depp have planned? I am not sure, but I don't like it, whatever yeah. it is. Nick Depp is concocting something. Uh-oh. Oh. He has the strap. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, he's right on top of this small ladder right in the corner here. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Whoa! Suplex off the ladder! That had to have taken so much out of both men. Dakota was trying to hop right back up, but he just was not able to. And now Dakota France is gonna try to get that big ladder into the center of the ring so he can use it to grab the dog tags. Both men on top of that tall ladder. Yeah, they're both in a precarious position. I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Ooh, they are both barely hanging on. Yeah, this is this is this is a bad position for both of them to be in, especially throwing strikes at each other like this. Headbutt? No way. Come on, guys, be careful up there. 
Headbutts from the Platinum Standard, and he racks Dakota Francis' head off the top rung. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh my God! Nick Depps it crashing to the ring into those other two ladders. Are you kidding me? Look at the way he's folded up on that ladder. Sending Nick out of the ring now. Yeah, he's trying to, he sent Nick to the outside to try to get some space to maybe get those dog tags, but I think but now Dakota he's, France is, is he, he could not be going to grab another ladder. There's already four here at ringside. Yeah, Nick Depp's trying to slide that one ladder back in, and here comes a fifth ladder. This is crazy. Uh oh. Dakota France setting up a second ladder beside this other ladder, maybe for some sort of stability. He's, he's eyeing this one in the corner. Yeah, you gotta wonder what sort of contraption he's thinking about to administer more punishment, because not only does he want those dog tags, he wants to try to administer as much punishment to oh Nick my. Depp as possible for all the pain and torture that they put each other through. He's draping this across these other two. Yeah, he's making some sort of high ladder bridge and it's not working out for him. Nick Depp setting up a contraption between these two ladders. And Nick Depp is pissed. Nick Depp is pissed off. I don't use that term often here on commentary, but... Uh oh, what's Nick Depp doing? Looks like he's trying to find a way to climb up this bridge that he's made. Uh oh. I don't know uh -oh. what they've got in mind, yeah, but is, I don't like this. This is not good. This is not good for either man. What's Nick Depp going to try to do up there? I do. Yeah, I definitely don't like this at all. I don't know what's going on. I don't like this. Dakota climbing that back side. The side you are not supposed to climb, mind you. Yeah, I've seen that side collapse under even less weight when someone has tried to climb up it. So that's what a dangerous situation from Dakota France. And now Nick Depp stuck up there. Nick Depp went up there to think maybe he could use it more to Wait get a, a. Hold on a second. No way. Dakota, what are you doing? What is happening? Um, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Dakota. Come on, Dakota. Come on. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! What a splash! And both men falling to the canvas. Good Lord! Both men just on top of each other. Is that enough? I don't know how either of them are breathing at this point. And Dakota's back to his feet. Yeah, this is insane, but you can tell that dive took so much out of Dakota France. Because look how slowly he's climbing that ladder. I don't, I don't even see where Nick went. Yeah, Nick's gone. Oh, wait, what's... What? Do you Nick's have a not chair? Gone. Nick's not gone. He has a chair. A ladder's not enough, Nick. Come on. Oh! A chair to the legs of Dakota France. Now he's trying to pull this bridge he just got splashed on. It's coming back into play as Nick Depp continues hitting Dakota France with the chair. Oh! Oh my, they're grabbing more ladders. Are what? you kidding me? Oh! I think he just landed on top of Dakota. I can't I think, see the best from over here. I think Nick Depp is over there burying Dakota France as much as possible under a pile of ladders so that maybe Nick Depp can go up there. Yeah, he's heading yeah, straight for the Yeah, it looks like he's climb, going for the climb. Strap goes back up. Dakota France is incapacitated. He's covered in ladders. This is Nick Depp's match to win here. Wait, wait a minute. I, I, 
Look up, Christian's running in from the back. Christian Franz is here. What's he doing? Uh-oh. Nick's got his hand on those no dog tags, no but... No way. Oh my, oh my God! goodness! Christian Franz sent the ladder. Now Nick's buried under a mountain of ladders. Christian's working his way back over to Dakota. Yeah, Christian's trying to uncover Dakota. What a bond between these two brothers. Helping his brother back up to the ring now. Yeah, Dakota France being led to the ring by Christian. Dakota's got to get these scraps out of the way. He's got to go up there and get those dog tags. And he's on his way up. About halfway, Nick has not moved Nick since Depp. he hit those ladders. Yeah, Nick Depp is incapacitated. And Dakota's got him! What Dakota a match! Dakota France! Dakota France wins the ladder match and he has the dog tag back. Nick Depp, I think, is regaining some of his uh, whereabouts. He's realizing what happened, but he's still down. Dakota France, a huge victory for Dakota. Folks, I want to thank you for being here tonight with us, or today, or whenever you're watching this. What a feel-good moment. Chris, what a show. I'm still in shock over what is, what just happened in front of us. Yeah, we're going to have someone come out of here and check Nick Depp. Stay tuned to social media for updates. Facebook.com slash WWA is now. And for Chris Falcon, I'm Drake Jackson, and this has been WWA Hysteria.